think it's an awesome initiative just because it gives us as women so much more to look forward to. Like, there's so many doors that are open to us just because of this movement. I think it's amazing. Mainly, I'm like, I'm a first year college student, so I'll be the first in my family to graduate from college. And so I think that like even giving other girls the same opportunity that I'm getting now is amazing and for more first year students to be able to go to college. I feel that um, Briarcliff in general has really gave, given me opportunities to be a leader and I think that's really great that Briarcliff is actually having a movement to emphasize this aspect because um, going into the med school and doing um, like healthcare things I, I knew that I wanted to be in the leadership position, so I've been involved in that. By having, but by having this movement, it's going to allow a lot of other women to see that and to want to do that as well. I have to say my mom, she is probably the most caring person in the world. She adopted four kids and she now runs her own business as working with like recovering addicts or alcoholics and like drug addicts and helping them find their way in life. Um, I definitely select my mom. Um, she has always been there for me, a very supportive role model in my life and um, I actually want to sort of model my life after hers just by the fact that she um, grew up a very like in a very poor family and she put herself through undergrad school. She got a scholarship to go to grad school, and she worked her way up through like her job right now, so that she's like the dean of her college. And that's just very inspirational. And I want to be a strong woman leader like she is in the healthcare field. It's my mom, and that's just from seeing her every day and like the amazing things she does for my family. She's a full-time chiropractor, um, and she's the mother to seven children. So it's just amazing seeing her in and out on her everyday life, like. She wakes up and she takes care of us. It's never been something like she's been hesitant to do. She always does it with a smile on her face and she just encourages us to, like, to do what we want, to pursue what we want, and to make sure like along the way like we're helping each other and we're bringing each other up. It's just something like she grew up, or I grew up in, um, that she's encouraged us all in, and I don't look up to anybody more than I look up to my mom. I feel that the 1930 movement is a very um, influential movement, very empowering movement for a lot of women here. Um, I feel that um, by having this um, program very open and like um, so a lot of people can see it, it will create more people to want to do it. The more people involved, the more people that um, will see it and want to be empowered, want to be leaders. And the world always needs more female leaders. So. <laughs> Um, I think it's important because I think we do need those voices. We need those people who are going to encourage us, that are going to mentor us as women because um, a lot of times we stand on our own and it's so important to have that group of women that we can look up to that can support us and provide those um, needs that we aren't able to fulfill for ourselves. I think empowered women empower women and I think that being a part of this initiative and being able to help even just one person who in turn can help even more people would be amazing.